Okay, so welcome everyone. This is Jordan Hale. Uh, today I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you a guide on soldier tactics, just like the scout one. Okay, so this is me playing again on high tower because I love this map. Okay, so the first thing to do and to say about the soldier, which is primary thing about the soldier, which if we weren't for this thing, then the soldier would be less popular today. Is the, the rocket jumping. The thing that is so unique in this game. You can just uh, rocket jump across the map. Look at this. And the rocket launcher. The soldier is pretty much the, ba the most basic unit in this very game. He has the ba a basic mobility, balanced HP, he has the balanced offensive and defensive, he's really versatile, he can use a banner or a shotgun for, I don't know if you want to be more offensive or for personal defense, you can equip a, a shotgun, if you are more about helping your team and be a little bit more support, then you can uh, use a banner like the buff banner, the the conquer or the battalion's backpack. Really, really good battalion's backpack. I, I just use it right now and I play this is a live commentary. It's not just a clip. So yeah, it's really good. I'm going to. Uh, Think about and I'm just playing a bit to show you how I play myself the soldier class is really good to be pocketed or not really pocketed but at least have a medic as yeah any class is better when you have a medic by your side of course uh, okay now I'm just gonna play a little bit longer just to show you how I do it you can use your rocket jump to your ability to be more, more have to be more mobile and a little bit more agility because the trade with the rocket jumping ability is that yourself as soldier you are really really slow. This is just a game feature to be the soldier class balance because if it were the soldier to be extremely quick and be able to just be fast like scout or pyro and be able to rocket jump would be the most mobile class in the game overcoming even the scout so yeah so but the thing about the story of why soldier is so slow is because after so many rocket jumps his feet got well injured wounded and she cannot run so fast as she did now this normally is the normal soldier this is the loadout the un unequipped all my cosmetics just to show you this is the soldier we start it's the most basic and the best for starters it has basic it's just has good offense defense hp mobilities balanced is incredibly balanced so the rocket launcher the rocket launcher itself is just by shooting some rockets which you can use to damage yourself and just fly across the map just these are for parkour rocket jumps and different things the shovel of course is the like in the any war in the world war they use shovels sharp shovels to beat themselves when they get close like rocket launcher is a little bit harder to use when uh, you are too close like i'm going to blow myself oh yeah thank you medic <laughs> yes medic the best buddy in this game because they're always good guys okay shotgun the shotgun you use just when getting on of course going to now join you going to play so this is the rock launcher you just shoot at people and you can use like that. I couldn't hit the scout of the rocket launcher. And the rocket launcher quickly runs out of ammo and you have to reload the entire clip. Which is 
damn, damn, damn annoying because you, you are in the middle of the battle and you just can't fight any longer because your rocket launcher is out of ammo and is your primary. Okay, should I use the shovel? But don't mind, you know, you just hit someone does basic damage. A crit will do almost 200 damage, which will pretty much knock your enemies out. Of course, spy. So, here it is the air strike and uh, the base jumper. Yeah, here I'm going to go the black box, which gives you on hit. It can give you up to 20 health, normally 15, but it can give you 22. It has uh, three rockets instead of the normal four rockets, which is even less. I find it somehow to be. Uh, shooting a little bit, the launch rockets are a little bit more sluggish than any other rocket launchers. So yeah, it's good if you wanna be a tanky soldier. Like, of course, this is maybe this and this and this. There you have the complete set of the uh, tank bus, which I have. Of course, it's gonna leave a living card on your enemies. Yeah, so when killed, they will do. They will leave a grave, which is just for this. Okay, heavy. So yeah, this is a really tanky soldier having 20 HP more on it, on the soldier, having the black ball, which gives you 15 or 20 health per hit, which is a lot. And the escape plan you can use when running out of HP, and you can just get out of the combat. Okay. Oh, leave this hat just there because I like it. This is an airstrike. You can use it with the base jumper, which is the best combination. You can get the airstrike because from the last update, the gun metal you know gives more damage to yourself while rocket jumping. So, so yeah, you do more damage while trying to rocket jump while shooting a rocket. The rocket jump now it has four clips instead of three. Like it was before. Um, yeah, the ba the base jumper, which I wanted to talk you, talk about, is the just a parachute. You know what a parachute does, of course. Just prevents you from falling. But be aware not to double click on on it, because you can be fall and take a little bit of damage. And in TF2, you never, never, ever regenerate this. The soldier can regenerate HP only if you have a consequence or if you are being killed by a medic or take a health pack, of course. So you see, yeah, I shoot a crap ton of rockets because normally it's just this, it does less damage, just explosion, it does more damage to yourself. So it's best to use the base chopper to maximize its effectiveness. On each kill, you get more capacity, more rocket capacity. So you can have like up to 8 clip size, I think. But the max ammo capability is not improved with kills. So you're gonna run more easily on ammo, but you are at least gonna. But you are at least gonna be able to shoot more rockets. So lesser loading, but you're gonna run out more quickly. This is the trade-off with the rocket jump. Oh my god! I don't want that because I'm gonna show you guys and I don't wanna just wait for me to respawn. Okay. Okay. Run soldier, run! Okay. Now, now is the next is the Liberty Launcher. Uh, it's one of my favorite rocket launchers. It has more clip size. It has projectile speed, blaster resistant, a uh, blaster, blast damage from rocket jump, so less damage on yourself, and it's really quick. But it has less damage penalty, which means even more less damage to yourself, which means that you can do a lot more rocket jumps. So yeah, not much damage to yourself. This is good. Now you can have uh yeah rocket jumper which is totally for learning for the rocket jump or you can use the market 
Garner, let me. Someday I'm gonna try a do this. Uh, the Petrus Bazooka, which I'm gonna show you right now. It you hold fire button and you just spam rockets. But it's tricky if you hold more than three, then you're gonna start to blow yourself up. It can be used as a technique to blow enemies near you or just rocket jump. Like, see? Easy. While rocket jumping, the Marty Gunner does critical bits, which is good, but it has no random crits. Cause it's balanced by Revolve. All they do to balance weapons most of the time is to nerf them to be really bad weapons or either add no random crits. Yeah. Which is good on some servers there are no random crits or no bullet spread and that is pretty much more tactical or less luck. There you don't have any luck to support you. Which is fine by me if they have two servers. Now this is my special skin war don't mind it is just no stock you don't have to use this you can just use the stock the stock is pretty good as the scout the stock is one of the best or best weapon in my opinion of course now into into the secondary this is the base jumper is a parachute the shotgun which is usable if in case you run out of rockets or you're too close to your enemy to fire the battalion's backpack if you want to have more HP on yourself and the buff you can see right there I don't have to tell it the consequence there are more two health regenerate I think it was free but that doesn't matter does it uh, and there is a, a reverse shooter which is on pyro as well you have faster weapons which like a shotgun but you can switch faster this might save you sometimes when you create airborne targets for five seconds after being deployed which does the direct hit i don't have it so yeah it has less clip size so instead of six bullets you see you can fire it instead of six times we can fire it four times but yeah this is my loadout and here you have the market gardener that does that i told you is a risky the disciplinary action you can hit on a light to boost his HP but be aware if you hit an uh, enemy spy which is disguised as your teammates and you hit with this it will take damage but she'll get the speed bust so watch out for that the equalizer which and the more and while it's active you deal more damage the more injured you become so it's like uh, a berserk thing the more damage you receive, the more damage you dealt. It's tricky, but yeah, you're, you can die using this because you get a healing from medic sources. The escape plan, which is pretty much what this, the name says, uh, well, when you are damaged, you are marked. When you equipped it, you are marked for death while active, and for a short period after the switch in the weapon, you're, of course, less. 90% less healing from medic sources and you move faster and the more injured you become so like oh no there's too many well you can retreat with this if you take damage you can use your rocket launcher if you don't have the rocket jumper of course to just deal damage to yourself and get out of there but one shot watch out for that so this this was it the my tutorial about the soldier so yeah i was i was too much not active and i got kicked out of the tv